Hi, boys and girls. Here's that. Uh, yes, I do look rough, don't I? <laughs> Here's that uh, sequence here that I pulled out of that unit. It was bad the other day. Uh, I don't think I actually did a video on that one. Anyway, uh, the problem was I'd gone over and fixed a heating wire on something that was burned off, and I put the thing back together, and I hadn't even turned the blower on yet, but you could hear uh, something clicking on and off, and I'm assuming it was the safety switch shutting off uh, power to the strip because when I opened the thing back up, you could feel the, the surface of the thing was hot. So, um, you know, my, my cheesy meter here, you can hear it there. The top one uh, is fine on this one, but the second stack is, is, uh, is stuck, is stuck uh, in a closed position. So even with no voltage, 24 volts on the coils, the, the top one was shutting off. And the middle stack here, hence the, uh, the burned off wire at, at some point, I think someone built it out there before me and replaced some burned off wires and I'd gone out and fixed some other wiring issue on the blower. And then I heard that clicking and realized that uh, it was sticking. This one is a, uh, if I can get my eyes to focus on it, it's a 1 to 24 on, I think. Yeah, I don't know if you can read it or not, but, but it's a uh, 1 to 24 on and, and 45 to 70 off sequencer, double stack. And sometimes they'll run a power in and a blower out, you know, and a heat out on one side and and just heat on the other. It just depends. But anyway, so thought I would demonstrate that. So it's something to watch for if you go up and the unit's real warm and uh, and you haven't had it turned on. <laughs> uh, sometimes they're hard to catch. Uh, I got lucky. I heard it clicking on and off when, when no call. For, for heat or call for anything. So I knew something was fishy. The safety was cutting it out. Anyway, that's a quick uh, three minute video for you. Appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll have something better to upload later.